are you doing? How's UK? I'm good, I'm good. The UK is alright, but it's just crazy right now because of the pandemic and everything. Mm, how how is the situation though in UK with, in regards with uh, the COVID nineteen? How would you describe it? Oh my gosh, it's very challenging because now um, everywhere's locked down again. We're on tier five, so we can't go out again. Everything's closed, even schools. Um, everything's been put online. It's just so sad right mm, now. Very sad. But how are you surviving, though? You as an artist and also other stuff, how are you surviving? How are you adapting to uh, the situation? Well, you know... Um, I have my friends to talk to on like FaceTime and stuff and I also listen to music in my room and things like that. So time flies really quickly. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Tell us about uh, yourself, just in case people are locked on right now, they don't know who we are having a chat with. Uh, we're just from playing the song that uh, Sinori XO featured you. I should make mention, it's an amazing song, trust me. Uh, it's on point. I love it already. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so tell us about yourself. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, hi everyone, my name is Chanel Dimba. Um, I'm Zambian originally, but I'm based in the UK. I was born here. I'm 17 years old. Uh, I started singing from when I was four. And um, yeah, I've just wanted to follow my dreams ever since. And it's only now that I've decided, you know, it's really time to start like a career and everything. So making a song with Sonori has been a really good opportunity to start that and get noticed and yeah i'm really passionate about music so i'm looking forward to making more mm -hmm. but, but, but how how is the response so far uh with your music right there sorry pardon how how, how are people receiving your music from what you've done so far are you happy with uh, the response oh yeah definitely Definitely, there's been so much support. Even here in the UK, um, I've sent it around to some friends and family. So they've all been sharing it. I get, yeah, lots of support here as well as in Zambia. And I know that um, Sonori has connections in um, the USA as well. Mm -hmm. So that's really good that um, they're all supporting from literally mm -hmm. everywhere. How did you convince your parents saying you want to uh, do music? Because you know what? In Africa, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> they don't take music as something that is very serious right here. I don't know where you are right there. How did you manage to convince them saying, this is what I want to do, I'm still going to do it, and it's going to be as business as uh, my professionalism. How did you convince them? To be very honest, my mom, she's very supportive. So um, from the first time I ever like, sang to her, even though you know I was four, it was a bit croaky. It wasn't right. Mm. She still saw that I had a bit of potential. And because she saw that I was very, like, I was very persistent in this area, like, I was consistent in wanting to make music. Like, I always sing to her, always sing to her. She will take videos. Then one day, you know, I was eight years old. I just walked into her room and I just said, Mommy, I want to become a singer. She, she just said, That's good. You'll do it. You do it, just be, just be um, you know, very serious in that area. Don't let anyone push you down. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, as I grew up, she, you know, as she started putting me, like, in the church choir, I became the church leader. And then, you know, everyone started seeing that I have um, a lot of potential from there. And I guess it's, like, God's gift. So, you know, my mom can't tell me no from God's gift. When mm -hmm. Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing. So maybe you can share with us your social media handle and uh, where people can get to stream your music. Give us some information right here just in case uh, people would like to follow you and get find out more about uh, your stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so um, on my Instagram, it is I am Chanel Dimba, all one word. So mm -hmm. I A M C H A N E L D I M B A. Snapchat is um, Chanel Dimba, so C-H-A-N-E-L-D-I-M-B-A. -E I also have a YouTube channel um, with my best friend. She also is into music. She's actually very successful in that area. Um, as she's, you know, been on X Factor and things like that. So um, as we share YouTube channels, a joint channel. So that's called Elia and Chanel on YouTube. A-A-L-I-Y-A-H mm -hmm. and C-H-A-N-E-L. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, the song will be dropping on the 18th of January on United Masters. Um, 
and um yeah i'm looking forward to put posting more of myself as well probably on that same platform mm -hmm. and yeah mm, give us more music we're looking forward to that we're looking forward to that uh but it was Definitely. great having it was great having an interaction i know it was short but i wanted to get to find out about uh you guys and also the other thing i didn't get to find out is how did you meet with Sinori exo and how did he convince you saying i want you to be my song a quick one <laughs> Okay, so um, a couple of months ago, during the first lockdown, so I think it was about March, April time, uh, you know, this was the time that uh, Papi Abs, the um, NSG yeah. artist, you know, from yeah, yeah. UK, yeah, he, he was um, having a live and he was saying Zambia's got talent. So my, my family was just like pushing me, going to say, oh, just go on there, go on there. You know, to be fair, I was very shy before. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I was like, oh, no, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. My mom just said, go on there, you don't know what opportunity you can find. So I went on there, I sang a song for like five minutes. Um, after that, the ads were crazy. I got like 300 plus ads, so many messages, and Sonori was one of them. Mm -hmm. um, he, he said how he was watching the live, and he um, saw my covers that I posted on my Instagram, and he's very interested um, to make music with me. So I spoke to my mom about it, and um, yeah, she said that would be a great opportunity and idea. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting story right there. Thank you very much for a few minutes. It means a lot. About to play the song for the second time right here, Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, we're looking forward to more of your projects. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing uh, yeah, something from you from this song. Uh, but I'm looking forward to where we can get to listen to more of your project right into FM. Yep, no problem. Thank All you. Right. I appreciate you. All right. Let's go straight to the song for the second time. On the other side, we'll continue with our countdown. Seven more minutes to go before we get to dive into our third and final hour of the show right here on Joy FM. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 